Hello, my name is Alexandra and today we are going to prepare these lovely chocolate croissants. I would like to mention at the start that I do not recommend this recipe for those people that do not want to spend too much time in the kitchen. This because the process is time consuming and these croissants should be prepared by those people that really love cooking. The good part is that you can freeze them, so if you wish to have a romantic breakfast on Sunday morning, you can just take these croissants out of fridge on Saturday night. Enjoy this recipe! You should start preparing first the dough with yeast and we will call it the base dough. Prepare 250 milliliters of lukewarm water and add 50 grams of sugar. Stir this shortly. Add some 50 grams of flour from the bowl in which you have prepared 500 grams and stir all together. Add about 25 to 30 grams of fresh yeast and stir until you get a uniform mixture. Leave the yeast to rise for about 15 minutes and in the meantime prepare the rest of the ingredients for the dough. Sift the rest of the flour, remember that you had 500 grams in total and add about 12 to 15 grams of salt. Mix all shortly. Add 100 grams of unsalted butter at room temperature. Use your fingers to unite the butter with the flour until you get the starchy mass. When the yeast rose, add it to the flour and butter and start kneading the dough. You should knead the dough quite long, something about 5 to 8 minutes, as it will in this way get smoother. If you wish to make this dough fast, it will not get so fine. When you made the dough, you need to shape it into a rectangle, wrap in the plastic foil and leave it in the fridge overnight. The next day you should make another part of the dough that we will call the butter dough and for this one you will need 250 grams of unsalted butter and 100 grams of flour. Mix all together until you get a uniform mixture. Place this part of the dough between two sheets of baking paper and shape it into a square. Leave the dough in the refrigerator for approximately 10 to 15 minutes, but not longer. Sprinkle some flour over the work surface and start to shape the base dough that you have made the day before. If you leave the dough overnight in the fridge, it will become really smooth and very easy to roll. It is still hard enough and it's much easier to control it than the fresh made dough. Sprinkle some flour over the dough and start to roll it. Try to keep the straight shape of the dough during rolling because later on it will be easier for you to fold it and keep this shape. I love working with this dough as it has uh, such a beautiful texture and it smells so good. When your dough is decided like on the video, take the butter dough and place it over this one in the middle. Now you can start to fold the dough. Fold one side of the dough over the part with butter and then the other part as well. I'm going to make the edge of one side a bit thinner in order to make it stick easily to the rest of the dough. Roll the dough now slowly just to get the right shape. Continue rolling the dough as on the video. You should roll the dough gently because the part with butter is still cold and has to be rolled in order to create those layers that actually make the puff pastry. If you roll it fast and with hard pressure, the butter will not create layers and will break into small parts. When making croissants in general, you should be gentle and careful and have a lot of patience. If you do not have patience to make croissant, this recipe is not for you because you will not enjoy it at all. And as you can see, the dough is now very thin and we can continue with folding. You should fold now the dough like on this video. Be careful that you connect the dough as good as possible, as later it will be easier for you to fold it and keep the right shape. Continue rolling the dough after folding. 
you will now be able to roll the dough much faster as it's no longer cold. Also the part of the dough with butter is not so cold so you do not need to worry that you will destroy the layers. When the dough is the size like on the video, you can fold it again only on halves. Roll the dough one more time for the last folding. You should fold the dough now into thirds. Use only the palms of your hands to make the right shape of the dough and leave it in the fridge to rest for about an hour before shaping. Sprinkle some flour over the work surface and gently start to roll the dough. The dough is now a bit hard as it is cold so you have to roll it slowly. Divide the dough into two parts and work only with one part at a time. Leave the second part of the dough in the fridge so it remains cold before rolling. Roll the dough until you get a thickness about 2 mm. Cut the dough in half and then in triangles. Put some chocolate or hazelnuts filling on the dough and shape the croissant. If you wish to have higher and more narrow croissants, roll it like this. Leave the croissants to rise for about 3 hours at room temperature and after this brush the top of the croissants with an egg wash. Bake croissants in preheated oven at 200 degrees for about 20 minutes. As you can see, preparing croissants is not an easy job and it is true that it requires a lot of time. I recommend this recipe to people who have patience and love to cook. As I mentioned before, you can also freeze these croissants and remove from the freezer the night before baking. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and check the rest of my recipes. And as always, buon appetito!